Yeah, real quick, uh, first of all, uh, outstanding football game, very tight football game. I want to uh, uh, first express my appreciation and, uh, to our seniors and what they've been able to accomplish here, and then also, uh, you know, a tough way to go out, but uh, everything they've, been, they've done here from, from uh, the standpoint, the player standpoint, chemistry standpoint, leadership standpoint. Secondly, congratulate Oregon, tight fought game. I thought the game really uh, hinged on two things, probably, or two or three things, but certainly one of the things is they had one drive, they put together one drive in the game, hit a, hit a bubble play, and then hit sort of a you know, uh, bubble go out of quads, out of four wide receiver set, and it makes a great catch. Uh, obviously, we played very well on the defensive side of the ball, the offensive side of the ball. I thought that uh, you know we lacked explosive plays, but we had production. You know, when you look at the statistics here, you see that we ran 20-some plays more, 26 plays more than they did, had 15 minutes more possession time. You sort of scratch your head, but you know they did a nice job of limiting the explosive plays. Did run the ball effectively, ran the ball over 40 times. And um, obviously, uh, the, the, the field goal um, at the end of the game, so we'll never know. But I felt good about him kicking that when we had the wind at our back. And he's usually been pretty good. So inside 46 with the wind at his back, he's, he's been good. So, But we'll never know. So, uh, you know, I'll take some questions, and then uh, you know, it's probably the best way to do it. Mark, uh, first, we get a status update on Kenny Willick, if you have one. For yeah, you know. <laughs> As the season would go, um, he's broke his leg, so he, he's uh, so he was out, so a broken fibula, I believe. So, uh, but he'll heal. But uh, the kind of season we've had, basically, in that respect. Mark, yeah. you had a, a month, and I think you were hoping for something a little more offensively. Was is this just sort of the reality of this this team this season at this point? Well, you know, I thought we changed up things. We ran out of the pistol. We went no huddle. We did a lot of different things at the line of scrimmage. Uh, we put in some new plays. But, you know, you know, as it is with most people, you know, if the play doesn't work, they don't think it's a new play. So we did some different things. I thought we did some things well, um, you know, from a consistency standpoint. You know, four or five yards, I thought Bride did a nice job scrambling with the football and some big plays. Uh, but we never got that bust out play. And you, really, in our passing game, you know, even the last, very last play of the game, as I said, you know, it hangs on a thread. You know, if Cody comes up with that with that catch, it's a first down, and you know, 36 seconds left, and we're in field goal position again. So um, that's the that's the way these games go, I think. But yeah, you're, you're looking for more production. I don't think you can. You're not going to win many games scoring six points. If you look at it and uh, break it down in the first half, had an opportunity in the first half to kick. You know, we lost the fo football. Guy makes a nice interception, same question, but they call it theirs. Um, you know, I decide not to not to kick it. Um, and we go for it on fourth. I thought we had an opportunity for the big play, but they came off the edge and the guy made the play. Um, and then we missed the one field goal. So, um, but, uh, but yeah, you want more production. There's no question about that. But I thought that uh, that we worked at it. Mark, do you think you, you said you mentioned there, there were different plays, even though people might not see it, and some changes. With, with the same outcome, though, the same result, what is your approach now as you head in the offseason in terms of do you rethink a lot of things offensively? Do you make any significant or, you know, big changes? Or how, how, how do you go through I, I, don't, I don't think you make those decisions right now. I've, I've always stayed the course. You know, I've, I've worked with people. People work with us. I have, I have value in, that, in, in our players and in our coaches. And, um, you know, that's how I've always done things. But uh, I don't think that's, that's it. That's a tough answer to a question right now. I'm just reeling off, but you know, is it? You know, football is a game of execution. I say this all the time. It's a team game. It depends on 11 players playing well at once, uh, and um, it's about repetition. So if a guy comes up with a catch, that means a great player is a great catch. Well, if a guy drops the ball, is that a great play or is that a bad call? Or a bad, bad, bad player, bad, bad selection of play. So you got to evaluate all those things, but. I thought from a consistency standpoint, you look at what we did, the body of work there, and we got opportunities to win a football game. And, and things happen sometimes, whether it's special teams or whatever. And I was deeply involved with the offense for the last month. And so, um, you know, 
putting some of that on me too. Mark, you mentioned earlier in the year when we asked about the offense that you were not an offensive expert. You just said you were more involved. Would you anticipate either by your decision or or others' decisions any staff changes to your offense this offseason? No, I don't think those are those are fair questions right now. Okay. As I just said, you know, I'm not up here to answer questions about about our staff. I'm answering questions about this football game. Mark, could you, you just from the field view, could you see what was going on with the receivers and the defensive backs for Oregon? I didn't think we got separation from our from their defensive backs. You know, we tried some stutters. We tried to go by them. Tried some deeper routes. Also thought the quarterback got pressure in his face. And uh, when people are coming upfield, it's, it's difficult to, to uh, you know, you, yeah, you haven't played in a, in a month, but yeah, you haven't played in a month. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's very difficult to simulate an opposing team's pressures, you know, for real. And so some of those things happen. As I said, I thought Brian did a nice job getting out of the problems, but at the same time, you know, he got he got caught some too, and uh, you know, he had he got situations where he had to dump the ball down or force the ball or, or not be able to throw the football. It's, it's tough to say without watching the film. You had made some significant offensive changes in that month. I'm just curious, did Oregon do anything, Mark, that you weren't expecting? Not really, no. And we got I thought we had him down pretty good. Sure, there's something that they did that we didn't see. You know, we practiced the one um, four receiver set one, but we didn't defend it right. Got the wrong coverage. A lot of focus on the offense, Mark. Uh, but defensively, you just talk about the way they played Josiah Scott yeah. in particular. And, oh and yeah, what's the first like, half full yeah. for me. But what's the frustration level yeah. too for a defense that keeps kind of putting you in position to win yet you feel like you can't? Well, you know, through. there's no frustration. It's a team game. I don't sense that in our football team. They can talk to that. A little bit, but uh, I do feel like um, we played very well defensively. I thought we won the field position battle in the second half, especially. Um, they did punt the ball out of there and put it back down on our 35 once. We got the ball at 50 or in 47 two successive times, and we had them backed up. Uh, when we kicked the field goal and missed it, uh, I think that's when they drove down, the, I, I believe, or maybe not, I can't remember the scenarios there, but. Um, they had one drive down the field 80 yards for 70, 80 yards. Mark, you've had a lot of it's a great defenses. Right? Can you compare where this defense finishes compared to those defenses and what this defense, if you can get it going offensively, would give you an opportunity to do based on that, that evaluation? Well, I think we're playing championship defense. Um, if you look at what we've been able to do, we're playing as well as any defense we've ever had here. Um, probably need to be able to pressure the quarterback a little bit more effectively. But uh, you know, in terms of against the run and things of that nature, and points, and, you know, when you look at the statistically of it, it's, it's very, very good. I think our guys play very well together, and our coaches have done an outstanding job. Final question for Coach Mark. What do you think? We we're talking about the offense and the defense and the difference. What do you think your lasting takeaway from this team this season will be? Not a little early to make it reflect like that, but you know, we've had a lot of injuries. We've had a lot of injuries, and uh, on the offensive side of the ball, and. Uh, you know, we've lost some very, very close games. Um, when you lose your quarterback for five or six go games, it accounts for 3,000 plus yards, or a tailback that accounts for 1,000, or a wide receiver that accounts for 800. That's a lot of production lost. And you're trying to simulate that. You know, you're trying to give other people opportunities, and but it's not the same. There's a foundation that's built. As soon as Felton Davis is not in, then the coverage gets tilted, tilted a little bit more, more towards Cody White. Um, it makes it more difficult for the other players. So it is what it is, but uh, I guess when you, when you look at our football team, what I, what I can get, get from the season is that we played extremely hard and we're competitive in every football game, every one of them. Um, that we have great chemistry, that we did things right, that we've left the place better once we got there, that when we, you know, when we leave, we leave a hotel or wherever we're at better than when we, when we got there. That we've swept the sheds, in other words. So very proud of our football team. I'm proud of the chemistry, and I'm, I'm proud of the way that they handle themselves. Um, and that's my takeaway from the season. You know, um, we're still a seven and six game, and like I said earlier, some people celebrate that. We're just not at that point right now in terms of what we've been able to accomplish in the past. So seven and six is a little bit of a downer, but uh, we'll rise back up. Coach, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, the players, up this time.